R.I.P. Dwayne Haskins, man. Mm. Tragedy happened over the weekend, man, and I just want to send prayers and condolences to his family. That crushed me, E. I woke man. up, bro. I was young guy. I slept bro. in, and I don't never. I wake up early every day, and the one day I slept in, I was kind of late to the internet and all that stuff. I I turned on my internet, mm -hmm. got my computer off sleep, and then the thing popped up, and it just said breaking news. Mm -hmm. The White Haskins, Dwayne, yeah. Dwayne Haskins, um, passed, killed in a car crash, and I, you know how sometimes, bro, we spend a lot of time. Man, he flopping, he ain't doing. Mm -hmm. It's funny how death will make you put all that on pause, man. <sighs> Life is but a vapor, bro, yes, and like yes, when man. when he died, all of what he did, or being a backup, or the league not having black QB, all that stuff. I be, I'm looking like, man, this young boy just. Lost his life. You know what I'm yeah, saying? bro. You want to draw from his positive, man. You want to like, no, no negative on his name. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, none of that don't matter. Even, even it, in the, exactly, you know it really saying? don't matter. Yeah. Exactly. And then to know he was working on his craft. Yeah. He was in Florida working out with the squad, like getting better, bro. getting better, working on his craft. And, and and so, man, it just did something to me, bro. I don't know if when I since I'm getting older, man. Um, it is that, bro? God is providing you perspective, bro. Yo, yo, lens, yo, view is getting wider, bro. Your lens is getting clear. I'm telling you. Yeah, cause it, it crushed me, and he ain't even my dude. No, like you, bro. Okay. It's just a young yeah. fella, man. You like, man, bro. that you, we didn't follow his career, bro. We yeah. did follow his. We career. watched that special on ESPN mm -hmm. when he was a young dog when he went to Ohio State. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Wearing the jersey in the locker room, saying, "I'm gonna be the quarterback of Ohio State." Yeah, I, the dream it came true. He did it. He was a, a great out. player there. You know what I'm saying? First round draft pick. So like, hey. He did what he was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? So let's just highlight my man. And, whew. and like y'all said, bro, it's like my son, he brought the news to me. I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. I'm like, hold on. And, you know, he got struck by a dump truck. And like you said, instantly, I'm like, oh, my gosh, man. But then again, it's like, like y'all just said, it's like you forget all those negatives about him. You forget all about, you know, the, the, the rough the, the tough times he had at Washington, the ups and downs, the backup roles. You forget all those things. Those things don't mean anything because he left behind his family. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of loved ones, right. a lot of friends, teammates, wife, kids, you know. And But there's still people out here that's going to highlight that, yeah. the negative. You yeah, know, Adam they Schefter, man, you know, I seen when he wrote, Dwayne, he wrote on Twitter, Dwayne has to stand out at Ohio State before struggling to catch on – like, <laughs> you said why you leave that off? Well, yeah. Why you do you that, man? Do that. And then you yeah. know everybody was attacking him what he said. Then he cleared it up later. Mm -hmm. And you know, saying Gail Brent on NFL Radio asked about Dwayne Haskins. He was a guy that was living to be dead. Like, come on, man. That Maybe comes, if he stayed in his school year, he would have do. He wouldn't do silly things like jogging on the highway. Man, it's gone, bro. Yeah, that's that's so. Some of that is for clickbait too. That know that we live in a society that people yeah. want to be first. Like, so if I can be first to the news with some BS, with that with that tagline, see, yeah. like um, that's gonna run hundreds of thousands of people to that page. So, like, <clears throat> hopefully, man, that's not. This is not the time for that. Hopefully, man, people can again, like we doing, highlight yeah. Dwayne, Dwayne Haskins and what he did versus trying to shit on him or. Drag his name through the mud. He's not even here to defend. How y'all feel? Speaking of, like I said, y'all know we come from the trenches, man. And, like, we seen we seen people that we grew up with die, get killed, mm -hmm. leave the world early. But how are y'all dealing with death as y'all get older? I know, for me, King passed away December 3rd. And I, I be more sad and emotional than I was before <laughs> he died. Did, you know, did that make sense? Like, Bro. like certain stuff where, like, I never cry for a movie, mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. still won't. But like, maybe if it's a dog that died in a movie, no, I'm then it might get me. You know what I'm saying? I would say this, bro. It depends on where you at with it, man, and who and what that person mean to you. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a good point. <clears throat> me losing my losing people in my life, bro. My mom being the hardest. Bro, it was it's no dealing with it. I remember in my like in my head, I used to try to tell myself because she was a drinker. I have to deal with it. Like, man, I'm gonna prepare myself for this or for that. Mm -hmm. But there is no preparing for that. That's you know fact. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Once your heart get touched in a certain way, bro, this is why you emotional now to me because I was that same dude. I never cried in the movie. I never cried at nothing except at a funeral. Mm -hmm. But now I don't, I don't even cry at funerals. But bro, trust you me, never was a cry. Going forward, bro, like. 
Maybe my mom passed. It was a. It was something that I needed to do. It's something a part of me that I need to reach. I need to touch. And Bishop always talked about emotional, bro. Man, like it's okay for a man to cry, bro. I, I never heard them words. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like. Mm-hmm. I was a masker. Wasn't nobody finna see me cry. I remember, we lost state championship game. I was trying not to let nobody see me cry because I like yeah. when it mean the most to me, bro. Like I kill somebody over this. Yeah. Like y'all better leave me alone. You get what I'm saying? So like, I was out of touch, bro, with my emotional side. But death would bring that out of you. Mm. You know what Quick. I'm saying? Death for real. When it means something. To Meaningful. Yeah. That's you get what right. I'm saying? Like because you wasn't. It's a part of you that wasn't touched before. You get what I'm saying? Like mm. I hadn't. Scratch that part of the surface with my mom passing or not being here. Get what I'm saying before. So now, bro, it's a be a movie, bro. Tears come down. I don't even. I used to be like, man, I ain't finna. Bro, let them tears fall, bro. That's cleansing yeah. to the soul, bro. 100. Yeah, man. I know. Um, for me, it's like not only with with King passing, but it's like now you can have moments throughout the day. Like for instance, I'm a routine guy. I wake up early mm-hmm. every day. We go for five walks a day. Mm-hmm. So certain times of the day, you just naturally inclined to be like, me and my little dog about to go for this stroll real quick. But now, or like, for instance, it's like y'all been coming through, we do these little, you know what I'm saying, episodes. But when I say you eat a piece of pizza <laughs> and a crust, you might throw the little crust to him. But I still say the crust, but he ain't there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>